يا اخي في الضفه اطعن Then the other terrorist put the knife into his stomach and slit down the middle. Alenu lechayev et targidei media chavratit linkod tzadim aktivim laserat kol hasata laasimut laalimut. And if they'll only take care of the incitement without taking of the source of the problem, which is the occupation, then you'll just enlarge the problem. We're going to try to see the world. There are children in the world who are being targeted for murder and blood gas. Online videos like this are thought to be behind a deadly wave of attacks on Israelis since the start of October 2015. Palestinians have carried out almost daily attacks with knives, axes, screwdrivers, meat cleavers and even cars. Terrorists inside the car killed, shot dead. The violence has claimed the lives of 28 Israelis and at least 179 Palestinians. זה שילוב בין האסלאם הקיצוני והאינטרנט. ואוסאמה בן לאדן פוגש את מרק צוקרברג. In the past 30 years, Palestinians have seen two official uprisings, also known as intifadas, resulting in heavy bloodshed. אה, אינו, אינתיפאדה תניה אינו מש... אגלבה הפסאל כאן את תקודה, אמן היי למרה שעב ושבאב לאגלב יאן. נו, הלא אמה פי פסאל עם בינה, כולנו אחנו שעב ושבאב לתודה. כולנו דייבין את פסאל. בזאת. הייתי בביזנס מיטינג, והייתי קודם כל פון קול מהי מודר. והיא אמרה, אתה יודע, היה איזה חרבה בוס אטאק בירושלים לפני 10 דקות. And I've been calling your father, and he's not answering. And I mean, I just had a feeling. And finally, a, a woman answered his phone. It was a nurse in the uh, operating room. And she told me, uh, your father's here on the operating table. He's in a life-threatening situation. I can't talk now. October 13th, 2015, two young Palestinians boarded a public bus in East Jerusalem. Armed with a knife and a gun, the two men began randomly shooting and stabbing Israeli passengers. The attack left several injured and three dead. Mika's father, Richard Lakin, was one of the passengers killed. Just six weeks after his father's death, Mika has filed a civil lawsuit against Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Mika and 20,000 other Israelis are suing the social media platform, claiming that Facebook is not only facilitating a radical Islamic insurgency, but accelerating it through lack of policing. I think it's important to understand what terror really is. He was sitting on the bus. Somebody walked up to him, a terrorist, with a pistol in his hand, shot him in the head, right in the face. Then the other terrorist took out a very large knife, stabbed him twice in the head, put the knife into his stomach and slit down the middle, cutting most of his vital organs and most of the veins that bring blood to his liver. And I think when you look at the terror running rampant around the world over the past 15 years, uh, and the increasing volume of it, uh, you realize that we have a problem and we need to deal with it. And if you're sitting in Mark Zuckerberg's chair, he has the ability to impact this and to change it. Uh, he can be part of the solution, he can be part of the problem. Right now, he's part of the problem. Perhaps inadvertently, perhaps unintentionally, but he's part of the problem. Most of the attackers have been under the age of 25, with some as young as 13. The violence was sparked by angry Palestinians who accused Israel of dividing a flashpoint holy site, Al-Aqsa Mosque, something Israel has repeatedly denied. حسب ما بشوف على الفيسبوك الكل تشارلي تشارلي ياس او نو ابصر شو تعال يا تشارلي تعال يا سخام البي من الحكي فحب اجرب هسه واطبقها عندي هنا اجيبها فلسطين بلكي غير شيء واعمل شيء هنا عندنا بها اليان a 22 year old graphic designer was one of the bus attackers that killed Mika's father he was shot and killed by security forces at the scene he had a strong online following often protesting Israel's mistreatment of Arabs and criticizing the Palestinian leadership for their lack of action Uh, 
هذه قليلة هذه الشبكة باسم البهاء هو كان شبكة إخبارية بهاء الإخبارية شبكة بحطوا فيها أخبار الانتفاضة وكل الأخبار عن الشباب بهاء لم يعتقل في السجون الإسرائيلية ولكنه استدعي أكثر من مرة ل الاستجواب من قبل المخابرات الإسرائيلية بها عاش في مجتمع مثل أي شاب فلسطيني هو ينهض في الصباح يذهب إلى عمله يلتقي بخمس أو ست حواجز إسرائيلية يتم تفتيشه يتم إهانته في الطريق استخدم الموقع موقع التواصل الاجتماعي للتثقيف ولنقل رسالة بهاء نمط استشهادي جديد بهاء لا ينقصه أي شيء في حياته اليومية هو كأي شاب يعيش حياته بسعادة وبنجاح فائق ما الذي دفعه لذلك؟ بهاء like most of the young attackers acted independently his will, written as a template for future martyrs, stated that no political organization should take responsibility for his death. This is not just a message to the Israelis. It is a message to the society of Palestine, to the political situation of Palestine. To try and stem the flow of the attacks, Israel implemented an old policy stating that all family homes of those they considered terrorists would be demolished. The international community and human rights organizations have condemned the policy, calling it collective punishment and even a war crime. طبعا احنا استلمنا رسالة هدم وقدمنا اعتراض لدى الجيش الاسرائيلي ورفض وكان بالامس كان في جلسه في محكمه العدل العليا وفي في كل لحظه يصدر القرار بالهدم. Despite paying Israel council tax, Palestinian suburbs are often neglected. Some of the attackers have come from neighborhoods like this in East Jerusalem, bordering well maintained Jewish ones. However, most have come from the West Bank. Malik and Kazim document clashes with Israeli forces in their village in the West Bank and take part in regular demonstrations. Israeli security forces implement roadblocks on a regular basis to control the movement of the Palestinian population. When clashes erupt, they fire tear gas and rubber bullets. اليوم بنشارك زي من كل أسبوع جمعة وسبت في مسيرتنا في القرية. يعني عملنا أنا وصاحبي في المدرسة صفحة على الفيسبوك عدة صفحات بنشوف الأخبار اللي بتصير في المسيرة والإصابات وبنصور اللقطات حلوة في المسيرة وبننزلها على صفحتنا مشان الناس يعرفوا شو بصير في كفر قدو عشان الصحفيين اللي موجودين هنا يصيروا يصورونا وينزلونا على النت يشوفوا العالم شو اطفال العالم قاعدين بيتعرضوا لضرب واطلاق غاز وشو حدا كثير في الضفه بدي اجاهد في سبيل الله For the most part these activists are looking to promote change while resisting the occupation It's only a minority of Palestinians that have escalated their actions beyond stone throwing to more violent attacks عملنا أول شيء صفحة اسمها أنا دمي فلسطيني هسا تقريبا عليها ثلاثة آلاف الإعجاب ثلاثة آلاف لايك 
في عند زميلة كمان صفحة بجوز بتوصل 25 ألف لايك من أي أخبار عاجل اللي بتصير دخول الجيش واقتحامات ودخول المستوطنين أي خبر عاجل مثلا عملية طعن أو إشي ثاني اكتب إصابة جندي إسرائيلي في وجهها وهذا بيزيد من تصاميمنا وعلى نشر الانتفاضة الثالثة في العالم في مدن العالم وبنظرنا مستمرين في هاي المسيرة حتى يفتحوا لنا الطريق انه يبقى مدام هيك زاد عدد الشهداء وزاد عدد الطعن وزاد عدد الدهس وعشان يعني مصممين على انهم يطخوا شباب عشان يستشهدوا يزداد عدد الشهداء في فلسطين بشوف فرع عشان الصحفيين بنقلوا رسالة رسالة الأطفال للعالم عشان يبينوا كيف الانتفاضة الثالثة بدها تضلنا مستمرة إن شاء الله طبعا إحنا الأطفال رسالتنا سلمية يعني مش إحنا بدنا نروح نطعن أو نقتل يعني رسالتنا سلمية مثلا بنركع حجر على مدرعة شو بدها تعمل الحجر شو بده يعمل لمدرعة أو مصفى ضد الصواريخ والرصاص ما لا بتعمل إشي بس إحنا يعني نوصل رسالة لرفضنا لهذا المحتل <تصفيق> We're at the Jerusalem Observation and Intelligence Center in the uh, police headquarters in Jerusalem. From this central area, we can track any movements, any suspects and uh, where all the emergency calls and numbers are coming in and our units are out on the scenes in the different areas to respond and stop and find those potential terrorists. Another part of our police operations which are taking place is tracking social media. Whenever we see specific words that come up such as kill a Jew or such as uh, jihad, so our police officers are tracking that and trying to find those potential suspects. There won't be a terrorist attack that will take place where a terrorist can escape. The terrorists are either caught, the terrorists are either shot and arrested, or when our immediate officers are in a life-threatening situation, if they have to, they have to shoot and kill those terrorists because there's no other choice. As far as we're concerned, we're trying to prevent every terrorist attack from taking place. If a 13-year-old boy is six foot tall, walking down the street with a 30 centimeter knife and can cut someone's throat and they'll be killed within a second, the age has got nothing to do with it. Out of the 179 Palestinians killed since the start of the violence, 37 were children. Here in Israel, the reality is that it's just a question of time until the next threat or the next possible terrorist attack. Only two hours later, they respond to a call. Unpredictable lone wolf attacks leave the Israeli police without a clear and identifiable enemy, and security forces often find themselves the main targets. Yeah, a few moments ago, there was a terrorist attack which took place, uh, carried out by a Palestinian who attacked a police officer who was on patrol. The terrorist was in fact shot at the scene and uh, was pronounced dead. Our police officer was taken to the nearby hospital. There's information going around. There's no doubt there'll be photos that we'll be able to see that will be popping up on internet, Twitter and other areas. That's why it's important for us to put out the coverage and the footage that we have. It's obviously going to be examined in order to continue security measures. Pictures of the martyrs are quickly posted online and celebrated soon after the attacks take place. The problem for the police is a dead attacker spawns copycat ones. Palestinians report their martyrs have been executed by Israeli forces, which then spurs on other youth to head out to avenge their deaths. Memory is a research and intelligence unit specializing in the monitoring of all media and online material in the Arab world. Founded by a former Israeli intelligence officer, it tracks incitement and keeps tabs on material posted by the Islamic State and other groups. There is nothing uh, special about what comes out from the Palestinian uh, media and social media. It's the same as comes out from what ISIS publishes, you have instructions. You don't stab just anywhere. They tell you where exactly to stab, how to turn the knife 
inside the body before you get it out. Those who are responsible for the volume are the social media. In a criminal way, these companies do nothing. They claim that they are doing checkups. It's all non-transparent. Some of them tend to say that they are protectors of the freedom of expression. There is no freedom of speech to incite killing. Today, in the 21st century, we have Twitter, uh, Facebook and uh, others. And we have someone has to set the new rules. Where are the limits? Where are the boundaries? This is precisely for judges of Supreme Courts to decide, not for some people in companies that are there to make money and whose identity we can't even know. Mika has come to memory to see for himself the type of materials that may have contributed to his father's death. Hi. Hello. Thanks for inviting me by today. I was kind of hoping to get a, a sense, a feel, for some of the latest incitement that's up there uh, okay. on the internet. The, the songs are the most popular probably. Right. You okay. have this song, it's called Lovers of Stabbing. Okay. This one, in the, in the past month, it was over 600, almost 700,000 views. And I'm just looking at like my kids' music downloads that we listened to in the car. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. That was downloaded 135,000 times. So this is more popular. This song <laughs> is yeah, downloaded 700,000 times. So Can we like make... put in uh, in Arabic how to stab somebody and see how many times it comes up? Is that, I don't know how to write it in Arabic. I do the multiples, you know, you see thousands of videos, watch tens of thousands of times. The quantities are just uh, mind-boggling. Somebody sent me, I don't remember if it was on Facebook or an email, a video, and it, w it was an 11-year-old girl explaining how important it is to be a martyr. And the whole concept, which is we're seeing, and I saw it in my father's case, being reinforced of somebody saying, I want to be a martyr, encouraging other people to martyrs, glorifying them for being a martyr, and, and that's something that there's, there's thousands and thousands of videos. Shortly before the current wave of violence, Hamas and online activists in the West Bank and Gaza tried to spark an uprising by posting instructional stabbing videos on Palestinian media and social networks. Adding fuel to the fire, the Islamic movement in the West Bank then started rumours that Israel was to divide the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The Hamas Student Union posted a video on YouTube reenacting the attack on Mika's father, encouraging more Palestinians to go out and continue the violence. The video went viral. As the stabbing movement picked up momentum, more extremist Islamic groups jumped on the back of the campaign against Israelis, including the Islamic State. They launched a campaign under the hashtag Slaughter the Jews, even producing a video with a fighter speaking fluent Hebrew. <laughs> As well as suing Facebook, Meek is also lobbying the Israeli government to change the current law surrounding incitement. The Israeli Science and Technology Committee have called for a hearing to discuss whether social media sites can be forced to remove any material that incites violence. We're going to fight the good what? fight. <laughs> no, we Bye. are. Mika's mother and sister have come along too. לפני כחודש, ב-13 לאוקטובר, עלו בלעל אבו גאנם ובא אליאן לקו 78 בשכונת ארמון הנציב והחלו לראות ולדקור בנושאים ללא הבחנה. בא אליאן, בא אליאן, 
אחד משני המחבלים שרצחו את אבי, פרסם בעמוד פייסבוק שלו קריאה למות שהידים. הקריאה הפכה לוויראלית תוך זמן קצר והגיעה לעשרות אלפי אנשים. עלינו לחייב את תאגידי המדיה החברתית לנקוט צעדים אקטיביים להסרת כל הסתה לאלימות וקביעת סנקציות אזרחיות ועונשים פליליים על אי עמידה בדרישות אלה. תודה. אם צריך חקיקה, אנחנו גם, גם יזמים חקיקה, חקיקה פרטית, אבל גם חקיקה ממשלתית בעניין, ואנחנו מקווים שאנחנו נצליח באמת לעשות שינוי, וכל שינוי הוא שינוי חשוב מאוד. תודה רבה לכם. מיקה ארגיוס שאת מיני מהסייטים כבר נכנסו את הפרטים פורנוגרפי, אז אין סיבה שהם לא יכולים לעשות את זה עם מטריאל סייטים. איך אני אקדיש אקון מן סחפי? في الانتفاضة الثالثة قاعدين بصوله وبغطوا بعملوا تقارير إخبارية أو نشروها من المكتب موطين أناشيم كالي شم يتبتين برشاتات الخبراتيات وقلقين بمبتين معاتصرين جام بتوخ أي رشخين تخف نيرو دا هو ماش كاف كاف كتاب بين البنسان الباري بين الناس الثالي بين الانفرماتسي I have a job to save my son from his friends from social media from himself.